Merobe Gaunt, as many of you know, was the mother of Tom Marvolo Riddle, better known as Lord Voldemort. She died shortly after giving birth to Tom in Wool's Orphanage, summarised as a lack of will to live by Albus Dumbledore. Lack of will, it's an interesting phase. Does lack of will play an important part in whether someone lives or dies? Let's leave this thought here for a moment and look at the overall factors that contributed to Marobe's death. Let's look at the first factor. She died after childbirth, known as maternal mortality, although it's theoried that she gave up. A recent study from 2016 shows that, based on the last five years, 18.5% of women died from maternal mortality every year. So this is something to strongly consider as the actual cause of death, but not the reason. Now that sounds confusing, but I mean metaphorically when I use the word reason. Now if we continue to look at the physical side of things before we visit the mental aspect, Marope had been living on the streets while pregnant. She was severely malnourished, as every ounce of energy she had would go straight to her baby. Sleeping in the freezing cold on those streets must have been quite unbearable, yet she held on and pushed through those awful nights so she could eventually give birth to her baby Tom. So she did have a very strong level of willpower to withstand such conditions, although she may have hit her breaking point when she was finally in a place of rest. Marobe also suffered severe abuse from her father and brother. She was treated as their slave, made to feel beneath them, deprived of an education at Hogwarts and had very basic magical skills, let alone if she even had her own wand. She also wasn't the most beautiful woman either, so you can imagine that her self-worth was at rock bottom. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if suicidal thoughts crossed her mind daily. Now, it appears as though she did manage to live with this lifestyle. She somehow found the strength in her to deal with the treatment she suffered. But Tom Riddle Sr's presence elevated her to a level of happiness she had never experienced before. Marobe had never known such a feeling. It's why she administered the love potion. She finally found a purpose in life. She not only found happiness, but also hope. She hoped for a better life. After so long under the potion's influence, Marobe risked everything she held dear by freeing Tom. And as we all know, it horribly backfired and a pregnant woman was left abandoned with nowhere to go. After losing the man she held so dear, Marobe lost her feeling of purpose and sadly her depression battled her maternal instinct for the remainder of her pregnancy. Marobe bravely held on until her son's birth but ultimately let go completely afterwards in addition to the other contributing factors. Albus Dumbledore sums it up perfectly in the conversation he has with Harry in the Half-Blood Prince. But she could do magic. She could have got food and everything by magic, couldn't she? Ah, said Dumbledore. Perhaps she could, but it is my belief, I am guessing again, but I am sure I am right, that when her husband abandoned her, Marobe stopped using magic. I do not think that she wanted to be a witch any longer. Of course, it is also her unrequited love and the attendant despair that sapped her of her powers. That can happen. In any case, as you are about to see, Marobe refused to raise her wand, even to save her own life. So everyone, that is my video theory on why did Marobe Gaunt die after childbirth. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. And also, please continue to leave your video suggestions alongside those comments as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps out in a great deal. As I always say, it also helps the channel to grow, which is hugely important for me. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, Harry Potter Folklore, for more Harry Potter content, the subscribe button is there in the video. And it's also on the channel's main page. Guys, thanks very much again for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day and a great week.